Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So day two of our weird week, but I'm also going to call it creative too because just because it seems weird to us doesn't mean it's weird to somebody else. And I wanted to say too that um, not everything that we make is going to be healthy. You know, um, every once in a while we're going to throw in something that is a lot of calories or maybe something somebody doesn't like or whatever. So um, be kind to people because... You know, someone else might want to try it, and if they do, that's good for them. Um, so today's thing I'm going to make, I'm going to make a side salad for it. So I'm boiling up some elbow noodles, and then I'm actually going to take some summer sausage, and I'm going to get that chopped up into small pieces. Yesterday's... Honestly, <laughs> was really, really good. It was really, really good. And I've been hearing of places all over the world, or all over the United States, that actually serve that at their bars. And so it may not be as weird as we think it is. Because <laughs> it was really yummy. I'm sure it's a lot of calories. But you know what? Maybe people thought about that the same time that they thought about cheese on their burger or something else. And, you know, to each their own. So next week I have decided I, you know, took a poll. And, you know, all these TikTok recipes do keep popping up on my Pinterest and on my Facebook and whatever. So... I am going to try some TikTok recipes. I have tried a couple, and I've told you guys about them when I did them. And I'm going to try a few more because those turned out good. Why not? Just because they're on TikTok. I don't have TikTok or don't use TikTok, I should say. Um, but I have seen some really good recipes pop up on my Facebook and Pinterest with it. So I thought, you know what? Why not give it a shot? And maybe we'll find some stuff we really like. Alright, so next I'm going to use some of our... You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. But this is Tom's favorite, and well... He's got to eat it, so that's what we're going to use. <laughs> and we're going to get those chopped into small slices, or chunks. Tell you, I love this rata um, knife for the cheese. It works so good. It just goes through that cheese like it's nothing. I absolutely love it. Alright, so I'm going to get that chopped up and put in the bowl as well. Tonight's going to be a little creative and kind of weird too, but I think it's going to be good. <laughs> It is going to be very creative. And they call it low carb, which I guess that's good too. <laughs> but it's going to be a strange one, but that's all right. You know what? Sometimes the strangest things taste the best. You never know. I mean, look at all the different things that's come out throughout the years and we think, that's kind of gross. But actually they turn out really good and that's not such a bad thing. So let me get these noodles drained and get them cold and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the noodles all cold and I'm going to put that meat and cheese in there. And then I've decided to amp it up just a little bit. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to add a few peas to that. Because why not? And then we have a little bit of veg in there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my salad supreme I love this stuff you guys seriously one of the best things they ever came out with <laughs> and we're gonna use some Italian dressing I might need more I don't know and we're gonna get this stirred up 
You can add anything you want. I just wanted to use what I had on hand today. So I didn't have to order anything from the store. I didn't have to go to the store. It's just everything that I had right on hand. So sometimes we can throw together a salad with whatever we have, you know what I mean? We don't have to get all fancy and, and whatever, just use what we have. I just dropped a piece of cheese on the floor. Bad Chris. <laughs> now I'm making this up a little bit before dinner because I want everything to marry and I want it to, you know, to get nice and cold for dinner. And I'm also going to chop up some strawberries to go with tonight too, so... Let's give this a small taste and see what we think. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. And the peas are great in there. <laughs> if you don't like peas, or you don't want veg in there, don't add it. <laughs> but I'm going to get strawberries chopped up, and then... I'll be back a little bit later and start dinner. That's going to be creative but weird <laughs> and fun. I hope anyway. So I'll see you then. All right, so just got off the phone with Tom. He's on his way home. And so I thought, well, I better get dinner done. <laughs> so tonight's dinner is going to be pickle subs. I know, sounds weird, right? Creative. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Let's bring you down here. I bought the big jar of pickles, like that one from Walmart. I would have rather than been bigger pickles, but, well, I'm not going to pay $1.99 each for them. So what we're going to do is cut each one of these right down the center. And this is considered a low-carb meal, which is good. If you don't like pickles, this is probably not something for you. And I'm going to make four of them, and if we need more afterwards, then we can make more. But I figured with the side salad and the um, strawberries, it's probably going to be enough. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out all the innards of that pickle. Which, if you ask me, that's the best part, because you get to suck it dry, you know? That's what I do anyway. I love pickles. My niece, she loves pickles. My mom used to tease when we were kids that she couldn't can them fast enough for my dad and me, because we both would eat so many pickles. I think my sister likes them too a lot. So does Tom. My kids are definite pickle eaters too. Alright, so let's start out with just one here. Ta-da, I got pickle juice all over me. So we're going to use a little bit of mayo, which is actually my miracle whip, and I don't have the, the bottle that you just, you know, squirt some out. So we're going to just put it in like that. Just on one side. And then we're going to use a little bit of mustard. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And then it calls for ham. That's what the recipe calls for. But I'm going to use turkey. Just because we use ham for everything else. I thought wouldn't it be nice just to use turkey for a change. So I'm going to do that. Then it calls for a piece of provolone. We're going to put that there. Then it also calls for slices of tomato. If you wanted to put something else on there, I'm sure you could. I'm going to slice these pretty thin.
Can't say it's not definitely different, right? <laughs> but who knows, you know? Like what one person really likes, another person may not. So, you know, I mean, everybody is entitled to their own tastes. So then we're going to put the pickles, I mean the tomatoes, on top of that. And guess what I forgot to get out? <laughs> one second, guys. I'm going to kind of sit there for a minute. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Yep, like that just did. I do keep a towel on my lap, by the way, so it's not hitting my bare skin or anything like that. So I put that on there again. And then we're going to put that nice long toothpick right in there. So there's our pickle sub. I'm going to get these other three done, and then we're going to give them a try. Well, hi, Tom. Hello. How was your day? Good. All right. I got pasta salad and strawberries and pickle subs. Pickle what you, subs. What you trying first? I'm trying to try this first. What do you think? Well, we got a lot of pickle <laughs> macaroni. <laughs> and you still dropped it. All right, so try your sub. I already cheated and tried a bite, and I thought it was really good. You already cheated and had a bite, did you? It was really good, too. Leave the toothpick in or leave it up? That's up to you. I'll take it up. And I'll <laughs> put my mouth over it and puncture my own. Puncture mouth. your little mouth? It oozed out on It's me. got pickle juice coming out, yes. No, I mean, it just literally oozed out on me. <laughs> I don't know why it just decided it wanted to go the other direction. Because you always squeeze everything too tight. Mm -hmm. mm. Love the pickles. <laughs> I could live on pickles, you know. I know you could. Pickles and potato salad. You got stuff all over your chin. You're enjoying your food. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's yummy. As weird as it sounds, it's really good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Maybe I should have made you four of them, huh? Oh. <laughs> I can make you another one if you need it. <laughs> All right, so there goes our creative, weird, fun food for today. Hopefully everybody likes it. If you love like pickles, you will love this. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Be a blessing and goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.